hey, how is it going? Today, I'm going to show you how you can send Telegram messages to yourself from your VB.NET program. There are just four steps to follow, four steps. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on step number four. For the first three steps, I think you can just follow them on your own. They are very simple to follow. Now, for step number four, all you need to do is to click on this link, vb.net. On this page, you'll find all the source code you need. All the source code is here. Now, let's copy the source code. Okay, let's copy the source code and then let's paste it in Visual Studio. In case you don't know how to create this project, let me show you how. All you need to do is to click on File, New Project. And then you click on Visual Basic Console Application. You say OK. All right. Now back to the source code. To send yourself a message, all you need to do is to change one line, just one line. That is line 61. On this line, you'll find two parameters. The first one is the destination number. That is the number you want to send the message to. In this case, it's going to be your number, not my number, but your number. And you also have to include the country code at the very beginning of the number. Let's say if you're from India, the country code is 91. So you might probably type in something like this. All right. Suppose this is your WhatsApp number, okay, including the country code. This is what you have to specify in the first parameter. In the second parameter, you specify the message, the content of the message. In this case, I'm going to say VB is cool. All right. That's it. Before we run our program, there is one thing we need to do. We need to add a reference. And this is how you do it. You right click on the project, okay, not the solution, but the project. Right click on it. And then you choose Add Reference Framework. You scroll down and you find this guy system web extensions you check it and then you say okay all right now let's run the program to run the program all we need to do is to click on this button this start button let's do it now okay here is our message VB is cool. If you also want to have some fun, give it a try for yourself. I'll see you next time.